Hello again, welcome back. Another one from my pale ale list. Where is it? I sorted all my beers I had to review into categories by style and sorted them all out and I'm going through the pale ales. Next is the IPAs. So these aren't classes IPAs apparently, although they all taste like IPAs. But that's why I'm doing this, it's to learn about it because of my novice status. So anyway, today we have one another one from Brew York. Mash Bandicoot. I'm really looking forward to this one. If you know, if you played the N64 or any Nintendo games, Crash Bandicoot was one of their games. So this is Mash Bandicoot. Fantastic artwork. So it's uh, from Brew York. It's Mash Bandicoot, 5% ABV. This is beer number 61. The brewery... Brew York, I've just read that. Style, Pale Ale American. Mash Bandicoot is a classic American pale ale to commemorate the 25th anniversary of an era defining classic pla of an era defining that should be hyphenated an era defining classic platform game. Crammed with the citrus and berry character of mosaic hops which may or may not taste like a wumpa fruit, which is a reference from the game. So it's got a two hop rating from the, the Brew York website. So we're expecting hoppy, fruity, sweet, mouth feeling bitter on their spider's web of uh, taste and not so much malt. Let's crack it open, rather than listening to me. Let me see. Yeah, it's a, a pale amber again. Feels very nice, I can smell it already. Let's get a wee bit ahead there. I think that might mean something different to our American friends. <laughs> a giving head. <laughs> no, no, it means giving it a colour of foam. <laughs> Let it that bit out for the kids. Right, let's have a look. It's a hazy, beautiful, orangey, pale amber. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, citrusy, yeah. Fruity. Not getting much of malt there. Let's get a swirl. I'm still working on my swirling technique. Any tips would be welcome in the comments. It's all in the wrist action, I do believe. Anyway. I think that's released some aromas there. That's the idea. You could stir it with a pencil. The one from Southern... What was it? Southern Beer? Northern Beer? That, that, that guy's brilliant. And he had these uh, underpants on and these pencils from Blackadder. Although Blackadder had the pencils up his nose. He had these pencils in his ears. Funny though. I was going to do the review like that, but I thought I better not. <laughs> yeah, so we're getting lots of citrus and uh, hops. For a two hop rating, it's pretty hoppy. Anyway, cheers, my dears. Oh, yeah. That's very nice. It's quite fruity. It's the citrus and it's, it's you're getting the bitterness. But you're also getting a bit of fruit as well. And at the back there you're getting a bit I don't know if that's like a like a berry berry fruit. So it's like raspberry strawberry type. A mild version of that. 
So let's have a wee. Oh, no, just say berry. So I must have subconsciously absorbed that. So let's go through the tasting sheet from craftbeer.com my little helper and we'll go through colour first which is I think about a number six of pale amber it's a beautiful colour it looks it looks gorgeous and we've got uh it's a slight haze on it. The colour of foam head retention, it has retained a two fingernails worth. So I'm going to see moderate. The, the, it's fairly thin though. There is some lacing. Look at that. Beautiful. And the visual carbonation, slow. There's not a lot going on there at all. The aroma, alcohol. It's fairly, fairly mild. I can never smell alcohol. I don't know. What it, not, not detectable to mild. The hop aroma. Yeah, the, the big thing is the, the fruitiness. And then the citrus. And... A bit, a bit of pininess, that bitterness as well. Uh, the malt is, is hardly discernible at all. I'm not getting much, maybe bread flour, grainy. Uh, the esters, well, I don't know if this is for the esters, but I'm getting the berries, the raspberry and the strawberry. Uh, the alcohol, the flavour and aftertaste. Uh, it's not mild, we'll see. Yeah, the hot flavour. We're getting, we're getting citrus, and we're getting fruity. And we're getting pine. Uh, I don't think there's much tropical or woody or the hot bitterness is is fairly restrained, restrained to moderate. The malt flavour. I'm not getting much of that at all, like grainy maybe or bread flour. Yeah, the malt sweetness is, is fairly low. Astringency low, the body. It's just soft, it's soft, drying to soft. It's lovely. There is that bitterness at the back though. Yeah. That's one-tenth of a point off. No, it's not. Uh, the length finish. I'm still getting it. I'm going to say medium, up to 60 seconds. Balance and drinkability. Desirable. Style, I'm going to say it's appropriate. It's, they say it's a, a pale ale American. Who am I to disagree with that? It is very, very nice. Brew York do some fantastic beers. Not everybody's a fan, but can't please everyone. Oh, yeah. The smells are beautiful. And the taste follows the smell. It matches. It's got that nice mouthfeel uh, a bit fizz to it and then you're getting you're getting the pininess the, the bitterness the the citri citrus cit citri and you're getting that berry the fruity sweetness I'm going to give that a big 8.8 .8 out of 10. That is really, really good beer. Out of 10. That is awesome beer. They really know what they're doing, Brew York. You get loads of information on the can, but you need a magnifying glass to read it. 
I love I love all the artworks they do. I wonder who the, who the artist is. I don't know if it mentions that. If I find it, I'll put that in the description. As usual, all the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears. That's lovely, that.